Hi everyone, welcome back. When 3.23 goes live, it could be it could be this week, but I doubt it because today is already Thursday and tomorrow is Friday. It's never good to drop a major patch on Friday. So my estimate is probably next Tuesday or next Wednesday, but I could be wrong. So 3.23 goes live when it goes live, but we know it's very close. However, when 3.23 goes live, we'll be facing the issue of choosing our home location. You probably already have the home location in mind, or probably going to be using your old home location. However, there is something I think we should be aware of. If you choose Orison as your home location, you have to fly to 90 kilometers before you can jump out of Orison and the Armistice Dome will protect you. There we go. 155. So the Armistice Dome disappears after 155 kilometers. So in Orison, from 90 kilometers where you can do quantum jump to 155 kilometers where Armistice Zone disappears, you are pretty safe. You are protected. On Lorville, you can make your quantum jump at 9 kilometers. When you pass 9.5 kilometers, you can make your quantum jump. And the armistice zone will protect you all the way to... Oh. I think it's uh, 12 kilometers. Let's fly back and see. 14, 13. Yep, 12 kilometers. So between 9.5 to 12 kilometers, you have that buffer room that can protect you when you do the quantum jump. At Microtech, at Microtech, I believe the jump range is 12 kilometers. Actually, 11. A little bit past 11 kilometers. That's your jump range. And you will be protected by the armistice zone until you reach 26, 27 kilometers. Yep, 27 kilometers. So between 12 to 27 kilometers, you are protected by the armistice zone at Microtech. Area 18, however, is problem. And first of all, what is that light? Is that an orbiter? Orbital elevator? Oh, I think uh, the light is where it shows you where to land for the new players. Because sometimes, because of the new cloud in Area 18, it's hard to find the landing spot. Ah, very nice, very nice, okay. So look for those lights. At night is really easy to spot. Find those lights. That's where you land on Area 18. On Area 18, if you want to jump out, let me go really slow. Seven point yes, seven point four, seven point five kilometers. You can jump out. The problem is, I'm gonna stop at seven point five kilometers. Combat mode. Look at this. There is no armistice though. After the jump range that can protect you. Which means. There we go. My I'm flying the Mantis and I just turned my QED on. If you're choosing Area 18 as your home location. Be careful of gankers, be careful of griefers, be careful of pirates. Oh, my QED stopped. So there is also a range for my Mantis QED. There we go. At about 11 kilometers, I can turn my QED on. There is a range, so when you cannot turn on your QED in the armistice zone. And beyond armistice zone, there are also, I think, a few kilometers above armistice zone you can turn your qed on again that you can see if you're in area 18 you can see the mantis if i shrift down at certain range my quantum temperature will stop right here 
it stops. And that's 10 kilometers. And I strip up. It starts at 11 kilometers. So quantum temperature range for the Mantis, 12 kilometers. And I am about 12 kilometers above ground. My QED can even reach the parking lot, the landing spot. The quantum dampener on the colorless blue has only 4,000 meters radius. And the QED, I mean the quantum dampener on the Scorpius Antares has only 5,000 meters. But the QED, the quantum dampener function on the Mantis has a radius of 12,000 meters. Especially in master mode. Because if you are within the range of my quantum dampener, you cannot go to your quantum drive mode at all. You, you have to stay at SCM mode, which means your speed is extremely limited. If you look at these numbers, and if you want to outrun my Mantis, let's look at the numbers. On Urkodot game, if you compare all the ships, just click SCM boost speed forward. And you can see the Mantis is right here. Mantis has a boost speed of 605. So any ship that is above this range can outrun Mantis. But there are many other ships and mostly are small interceptors or small starter ships. Razor, these are the snuff fighters, doesn't count. Snuff fighters, M50. Avengers, if you fly Avenger, you can outrun the Mantis, maybe. And the Origin ships, Origin 300 series, Origin 100 series. That's it. The rest of the ships cannot outrun this Mantis. But this is not only the danger for Area 18, which has almost no armor system though. This is a danger for mass mode as a whole, especially for pirate orcs or pirate groups. It's really, really easy to gank players in Master Mode. Extremely easy. The Master Mode is actually a ganker's mode, a griefer's mode, a pirate mode. If you're caught by the quantum dampener range of the Mantis, your fly speed, your boost speed is extremely limited. You can only stay in SCM mode. If you fly a multi-crew a big ship with important cargoes, the only way is to forget about it, give up, and surrender. There is nothing you can do. If you choose Area 18 at your home location, be wary, be aware, and be careful. So not only Area 18, but when we go into 3.23, be careful of Mantis, be careful of Colors Black, be careful of pirate activities. If you're a legal citizen, especially when you carry cargo, so when you loot stuff, when you have important stuff on your ship, be very careful, especially when you see a Mantis, you cannot outrun it. And if you see a Mantis with a group of ships, that's most likely is a pirate group. Before you get close to it, run. Or if you're a good pilot, engage the Mantis. Take it down, kill it, destroy it, if you can. Now, I want to test this Mantis on a real player. I couldn't find anybody here. I expect someone to be on Area 18, but nobody's here. So let me go find a real player and test this.